All of your GCSE exam papers are going to be scanned, but why is that important? Hi, I'm Dr De Bruin. I'm a GCSE and A-level science teacher, and I also make revision videos on YouTube. As soon as you sat one of your GCSE exam papers, it's going to be sent off to the exam board where they're going to process it and send it on to the examiners. They're going to cut off the margin and feed the whole thing through a massive scanner. And then your examiner is just going to have your paper on a computer screen. They're never actually going to get the physical object. Now, this matters for three main reasons. The first one is you've been told to write in black pen because other colours just don't scan as well and pencil can easily get smudged. But that does also mean that you can't use those friction pens that get erased by heat because the heat of the scanner may erase your work. The second reason it matters is that this means that that inner margin is going to be physically cut off. So there is literally no way to recover that. And if you use that for extra space, well, you're not getting any marks for that. Like I said, your examiner is never actually going to get your physical paper. It's just going to appear on their computer screen. And they're going to get it one single question at a time. The bit of the paper corresponding to a particular question is going to be whited out on their screen and everything else they just can't see. Now, there is a button that they can press in order to see the rest of the paper. So say you're writing and you run out of room and then there's just some white space underneath and you carry on into there, that's fine. They'll be able to see that you've carried on writing, they'll press the button and they'll just mark all of your work. But the problem comes when you've written somewhere completely different. When I'm marking my year 11's work, quite often they'll go, oh, I've run out of room on page 10, but there's all this spare space on page 12, so I'll write here and write a little note. But your examiner's not going to see the little note because they're not going to look at page 12. So if you do run out of space, use the extra pages at the back. This was a big change, I think, post-Covid, where instead of having extra additional sheets, they actually included them in the exam paper. But if you've put stuff on those sheets, then it does get automatically flagged and your examiner will know there's extra material. But even if you're using those, I would write a note where the original question is saying, see extra pages, to make sure that they definitely look for that bit.